From across Maryland, Virginia, and the district, this is Washington's 24-hour local news leader. News Channel 8's Live Tonight starts right now. And one more company we can add to that list here in the Washington area, page after page. The company specializes in office equipment, particularly copier and duplication equipment. Jimmy Page founded his company and is its current president and CEO. Jimmy, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So you have two locations, one in the district, one in Alexandria. What are you seeing this year? Are you downturn or you manage to stay above water? It's interesting in, in the technology business, office equipment included, uh, it seems that everybody wants service and not only service, good service. And your message as a business owner to other people in the business community is that it is all about service, service, service. What do you teach your employees? Wow, our elevator speech I gotta say is uh, you, can get you can get glasses in about an hour, you can get uh, pizza in 30 minutes or less, but to get great service here in one of the most powerful cities in the world, sometimes you're waiting two and three days. You know, people say that across the board here. It is so frustrating sometimes, and a lot of people even uh, bemoaned that when the great hardware store Heckinger's that went out of business and Home Depot overtook them, it really was a matter that Home Depot started providing more and better service. So how do you do that? It's interesting. We listen to the customer. Uh, not only do we listen to them, we find out what is it that they're really looking for. And we don't go over the top with uh, trying to charge them for uh, different uh, incentive promotions that some manufacturers may have. Uh, one of the things with our company, Pageology, it's our green initiative company. So our focus with uh, Pageology is to help the customer reduce the number of copies that they're making on their copy machine. And it sounds funny because the-, the Could put the, you out of business. It could put me out of business, <laughs> exactly. However, we feel that with some of the other features on the copy equipment, such as scanning, such as email capability, and pretty soon they're working on technology where you can actually send a document straight to your telephone, which uh, really would help uh, cut the cost. So even though we're a long ways away from being a paperless society, you're not afraid of that goal? You think you could stay in business? Wow, our phone has been ringing off the hook with this new uh, idea that we have that we're doing and we're raising the bar on good service. How do you find good workers, even uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, um, where you have a uh, highly trained, educated workforce? Uh, people bemoan the fact that it could be difficult to find good employees who can provide that level of service. What do you look for particularly? It's interesting. Uh, if you would have asked me this last year, my goal was to create uh, five millionaires in Washington, D.C., helping them and giving them different ideas of how to bring value to the, to the clients. This year I had an epiphany and my, I will, my idea now is to reach out to five million people and change their lives. And it's interesting how many people are gravitated towards you because now your idea isn't money, your idea is changing lives. And a lot of times it costs nothing but uh, time and attention. It's interesting, I interviewed uh, Sheila Johnson uh, when the show first started and um, she doesn't like being called a billionaire because she said any day you may not be a billionaire given your portfolio. She really wants to be judged by her work. So that's what you want your employees to think about as well? Exactly. Uh, this November we gave away 40 turkeys to a uh, homeless school. Uh, this year right now we've adopted uh, Bright Beginnings. We have um, uh, adopted Sea Forever. We do training programs inside the district. We've adopted several high University students, and uh, we haven't uh, begun to touch to scratch the surface. See forever. A charter school started by Eric Holder That's and it. my friend Reed Weingarten. Uh, so, what do you? Uh, what's your message to other business leaders out there? You've been in business for 17 years. You worked at the Chamber of Commerce here in the district. You've seen businesses come and go. What's the most important thing for those hanging on right now? Well, I have to correct you, Rebecca. I've not worked at the Chamber of Commerce. I actually, uh, at my early stages at IBM, worked for the president of the Chamber of Commerce. I was her secretary. When she was at IBM. That's correct. Barbara That's Lang, correct. That's who right. we have on here frequently. I, I love but it. you've been in the business world for quite some time. What is your yes. message to people? My message uh, for all business uh, owners is don't be overly concerned with your harvest. Be more concerned with the seeds that you plant. Pretty profound here on a Friday on Washington Business Tonight, and we appreciate it very much. Thanks for coming in and joining us. Thank you again for having me. And we'll be right back after the break.